Hey folks, Sarah Lean here and welcome to this video. Now, have you ever come across a GitHub project you want to experiment with, fix a bug in or contribute to? Forking is the first step and in this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to fork a repository on GitHub, clone it using GitHub Desktop and get you set up to make changes on your own machine. So let's dive in. Forking a repository makes a personal copy of it in your GitHub account. You can make changes freely and if you want, submit them back to the original project through a pull request. First, go to the GitHub repository you want to fork. Now, in the top right hand, you'll see a button called fork. Click on that button. Now, if you're a member of any organisations, choose your personal account when prompted to do the forking into. After a few seconds, your copy of the repo will appear under your username and now it's fully yours to experiment with and kind of do what you want with it. Now, let's bring the code down to our local machine or computer and edit it using GitHub Desktop and Visual Studio Code. First, in GitHub, click on the green code button on your fort repository and select Open with GitHub Desktop. As GitHub Desktop clones a repository, it will prompt you for the location to store the files in. As GitHub Desktop clones a repository, it will prompt you for the location to store the files in. And you'll also be asked how you plan to use the fork, either contributing to the parent project or if you're using it for your own purposes. Now, once it's cloned, GitHub Desktop will automatically set everything up, the repository, the branch and the connection to your fork. So you're ready to start editing. So let's make a basic change. Now I'm going to open this repository or local folder now in Visual Studio Code to do my editing in. I'm going to make changes to the readme file. So I make a simple change and save the changes. I'm then going to switch back into GitHub Desktop and I'll see the changes listed in the left hand pane. I can see the changes listed in the left hand pane and I'm going to add a commit message at the bottom and then I can click on commit to main. To sync the changes to GitHub, I click on push origin and this pushes the changes from my local machine to my repository in the GitHub. So if you want to contribute your changes back to the original project or the original repository, we need to head back to GitHub in your browser. Click on pull requests and select new pull request. It will start to compare the changes and allow you to submit the changes back to that parent repository or original repository. When ready, click on create pull request and the project owner can now review and merge your changes. And that's how open source collaboration works. If this has helped you get started with GitHub, feel free to give it a like and subscribe. I regularly share short practical videos to help you build confidence with tools like GitHub, Visual Studio Code, Terraform and Azure. And that's it folks, you forked a repo, cloned it to your machine, made a change and learned how to contribute back. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.